Um, I think it's, it absolutely has helped me to be more calm and more uh, noticing things. Um, and, and I think that transfers into the classroom as well. Um, so if, if I'm more calm, they're more calm and they're more open to um, listening and engaging easier, I think. Yeah. I consciously find myself, I, I go, I know that if I raise my voice or if I'm going to get angry, it's not going to have any effect. So mm. I try to consciously think, no, that's not going to work. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So I'm, so I'm more calm. The students are more calm. Because if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm not calm, then they, they feed off that and they sense that. Mm. And, and I think it's um, not, not just in the classroom, it's, you know, within everything. It's in the pre preparation for lessons um, and, um, and home as well. It's just that whole breathing thing is just, does so much, yeah. does <laughs> help so much. Yeah. Um, I think the mindful practice for teachers program has impacted my relationship with the students. I'm a lot more patient with them, I teach a lot of the higher end um, SEP students. So I'm focusing more on listening to them rather than reacting to them. Um, and I'm giving them the same tools that we've been given in these sessions. So I've been teaching as many of them as, I po as possible to you know just breathe and just listen before you lose your temper before you start screaming, before you walk out. And it's actually had a really good impact with one of my students in particular. She's able to refocus herself now. And we just tell her, to just pretend you're like a duck with, and everything rolls over you. And she does, it's, it's made the classroom not perfect, but it's a better, env better environment for me, better environment for her, and better environment for the people that she works with. Um. For me, it's actually been um, helping me as an early career teacher actually um, handle the stresses that comes with uh, teaching. So um, more it's in the preparation uh, at home there. Yeah, definitely the breathing exercises at the end of the day are quite a good way of, of actually relaxing um, and recharging and getting ready for the next next day or next week? Personally, I feel that I'm, uh, in my personal life itself, I'm very calm, composed now after this activity. And that, uh, and my compassion has grown much more. So this is being reflected on my uh, students. And I'm more responsive to their um, thoughts and you know their emotions and all that. So that makes my classroom more uh, calmer and students are uh, much more focused in their work and that um, is, has definitely made a, a very constructive and productive environment. I think I've had the same reaction as Feroza, really. Um, the Mindfulness for Teachers program for me has been a really excellent addition to my toolkit. So I found that I'm a much happier and calmer teacher with my students, um, in particular the ones that are a bit of lower ability who are generally inclined to muck around just that little bit extra. So I've taken time to sort of get to know them and smile at them and sometimes I sit down and do some deep breathing and, and it's really improved, I think, my practice as a teacher. So it's been fantastic. So each week I've run the 45 minute session with the teachers over the eight week course, um, looking at simple breathing techniques, um, discussing strategies, um, events that have happened during the week and then how to be mindful and to use the strategies and applications in the classroom and also in their personal lives too. Well there have been a lot of um, positive benefits just in themselves so being able to identify stress that's one of the components we looked at and then um, is there a physical response to the body so noticing if they're getting stress and seeing that as a trigger and then thinking okay well, I need to actually do something to respond rather than habitually react so we look at habitual styles of thinking so um, that lead to anxiety and, and high levels of stress which can then have a knock-on effect in their personal lives so identifying those sources of stress how can I respond and then keep myself feeling a little bit more calm and then as a result improve the relationship with my students preparing my work and having more time, feeling more calm, 
um, overall and that's some of the feedback that people are feeling a little bit more relaxed, they don't feel that they can't get things done, they're able to put things into, I guess, put them into boxes and this is work and this is home and I can deal with my stress rather than feeling overloaded and not able to deal with it and that also has a positive effect on their sleep as well and they feel more well rested, um, a little bit more motivated, a little bit more energy and the gentle physical exercise is also beneficial so a little bit of gentle stretching relieves tension and that improves sleep as well.